Well, YouTube, I told you guys in my Motorola Droid Turbo video that I'd be showing you guys how to deal with bloatware on this device. Okay, it's time to do that, so let's go do it. So you want to get rid of the bloatware, the random apps you really don't like on your Motorola Droid Turbo? Well, let me show you how to do that. Basically, you have all these Amazon applications, you have all this Verizon junk, some Motorola junk, Verizon, NFL Mobile, this stuff all comes with your device. But you're tired of looking at it, you don't like seeing it in your app drawer. I've got three pages of apps here and like two pages that I use. It's just kind of annoying. Let's show you guys a fun little tool on how to get rid of this on your device. Alright guys, so this tool is pretty sweet. Uh, basically, come to my server here. This is my server site. This is my download site. It's uh, rootjunkiesdl.com. Right there. And uh, you're going to click on uh, Droid Turbo right here. Then just come down here and download the Droid Turbo block bloatware zip. Just click on that and these will download so right there you can see it's downloading very easy very small file not a big deal then uh, make sure you have your Motorola drivers so Android drivers and then click on Motorola and if 32-bit or 64-bit or you can install the manager I think this manager is a little bit older and it'll install the right ones for you but uh, you might have to update that once you have the Motorola device driver stuff installed or you can just install these as the latest so download the drivers you need if you don't have them and uh, then you'll be good to go alright so let me show you how to do this so here is the zip that you downloaded extracted basically it's going to look like well it's actually going to look like this this folder and you click on it and it has some instructions if you want to read them that's basically what we're going over right now and then um, a list of apps that are being blocked you can look through that if you want to as well. And then you have these two batch files. One of them blocks them, one of them unblocks them. The list of apps that we're getting rid of, the bloatware. So it's very simple. Let's go back to my device and make sure we have it set up right. All right guys, so to do this, you're gonna, gonna go into settings, go down to about phone, and you have to turn on um, ADB debugging. So to do that, you have to tap on your build number about 10 times till it says no need, you are already a developer go back one and you should see developer options very good now you make sure it's turned on up here and then make sure that USB debugging is checked once you've done that connect it to your computer and what I recommend doing is coming up here into USB uh, connection mode and make sure you turn on media devices let those drivers install wait two minutes turn on camera let those drivers install wait about two minutes now my ADB debugging drivers didn't function correctly at first unless I was in camera. So play around with that to make sure that you get those drivers installed. Alright, so from here, just to show you how this works, it's very fun. We're going to go ahead and scroll over to my last page of the apps and you're going to see them just start to disappear. So let's go ahead and run this batch file. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and say black block bloatware and you just click on it. Here is it. Your option is click enter. It's very simple. So go ahead and click enter. And you're going to see it checks to make sure your device is working in ADB. If it hangs right there, um, then just go ahead and, and just keep going. So you guys can see that you shouldn't normally get that error, but if you do, it's not a really big deal. Uh, just cancel it. So you can see, there you go, I've almost got rid of a whole page of applications out of my app drawer, and those things are now gone. No more Amazon junk, pretty much no more Verizon junk. Uh, very, very nice. Got rid of like, the Verizon messaging app. You still have the default one up there, so not a big deal. Um, this is the unblock remove bloatware script. Now, if you want to put it back, we'll go ahead and close this one out. It's very simple. If you want any of those applications back, just run the unblock bloatware. And again, just hit enter. And watch all the applications come back. It's very, very simple to do, guys. Very easy. I do want to give a big shout out to my buddy Matt, uh, Matt Groff. He helped me 
uh, get some of this set up, give me a little lessons on how to pull some files so I know what to be blocking and what not to be blocking. So I really appreciate that from Matt. I uh, hope you guys like this little tool. It is very nice, very easy to use. Two simple options. Download them, check them out, install them on your Motorola Droid Turbo. Go ahead and close the script. You're done with your computer. It was that simple, guys. As you can see, all of your applications are back. You have your three full pages again. All that Verizon junk is there. If you really want, you can go into those batch files and edit what apps are being blocked or not if you're that interested in it. Go ahead, be my guest. But there you go. That's what I've got for you today. Hope you guys like this little video here on the Motorola Droid Turbo. Uh, I'm really liking this device. Waiting for my cruiser light case to come in the mail. And then I'll be using this thing as my daily driver. Super pumped about that. Give this thing a full trial run. Stay tuned for more coverage on this device. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. All right, PS here, another quick note. If you wanna go into settings, there's another way to individually disable things. So if we come in here to apps, and we go to all applications, and let's go ahead and just for fun say it's the App Store, Amazon App Store, and you click disable, okay. Go back to your settings. And the Amazon App Store is, or your apps, I should say, App Store. Amazon App Store is gone. Now, basically, this is the exact same process we're doing with the script, except with the script, we're able to disable some of these apps that are not allowed to be disabled in the app manager, like I just showed you. So that's that's really the key of the script is that you have you can disable more stuff. Like I know you can't normally disable uh, Verizon voicemail. Uh, I know that thing's blocked out, probably can't disable Verizon Protect, but we are able to block them with the tool. So there's two different ways for you guys to get rid of and deal with bloatware on your Droid Turbo.